I can't believe Starfy on Switch is real. What the fuck? That just, that just happened randomly. I said hi. I pet Fergus, by the way, and you're all jealous. You're all jealous as fuck. Setsu no Starfy. Okay, I put it in the Discord. Let's fucking go. Starfy is literally real now. forgot in order to play updates you have to download them wait Dude, these box arts are so cute. They're so cutely sweet, even. Well, I'm not gonna understand the dialogue at all. I hope this is not a very text-heavy game. <laughs> Good old Nintendo. Uh, not releasing these with translations. Couldn't even translate the controls? Oh, dude, this is gonna be so weird because my only experience with Starfy is, like, the DS game. Like, genuinely, this feels like I'm playing, like, uh, fucking... This feels like I'm playing, like, a bootleg of, like, Starfy on DS. It doesn't help that, like, GBA games, like, already kind of feel, like, very similar to SNES games. So this, like, I don't know, this is, like, totally believable as, like, you buy this on, like, a Russian market. And, like, you just own this, like, fake Starfy game now. Can I, like, move this over? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I think it's interesting how half-heartedly Nintendo cares about game preservation. Yeah. I mean, honestly, in some ways, they're bolder than other studios. Because I don't think a lot of studios would have the balls to re-release Urban Champion. But at the same time, it's like, I don't know, Nintendo's always been, like, really weird about what games... Like, they, they allow to continue to exist, and what games are going to be sent to the ether forever. If you're, like, in America, uh, you never get to play, like, Mother 3. Like, that's obviously, like, the big one. If you're in America, you don't get to play Mother 3. Oh, 
Also, yeah, they, this is on... This is just on NSO. <laughs> they did not put a translated version on NSO. It, it's so weird that they, they won't bother, like, translating for NSO. Because, like, I feel like... NSO has to be, like, decently profitable for Nintendo, right? Like, people will always point out, like, oh yeah, because Nintendo doesn't have servers, lol. And it's like, listen, that's only mostly true. But, like, they're also paying for, like, all these different, like, free games to get released for the service. You know, there's, like, Tetris 99, which is still running, which technically has DLC, but I can't imagine a lot of people are buying it. F-099 is a completely free game that doesn't have, like, online... Or, not online, sorry. Uh, it doesn't have DLC. They had, they had Pac-Man 99 and... Fuck, I got really distracted by these cheap viewers. Holy shit, guys. Do you guys want some cheap viewers? Go to fucking skibbitytoilet.com and, like, rot your brain. Bitch. Like, do we, do we have the exact numbers on, like, NSO subscribers? I feel like Nintendo had to have put that in, like, a fucking, you know, like, financial report at some point. And I feel like I remember the number being quite high. I could probably look it up. The last number we got was over 38 million. That's actually, like, really bad. There's no way it's that low. Does that, like, count family plans as, like, one NSO subscription? Because if it doesn't, that's, like, a really bad number, actually. That's like a hundred million people who have the system who don't have this online service. That's like really bad. There's more people who own Animal Crossing than have an NSO. That's crazy to me. Because NSO sucks my balls. That is true. I just, like, don't understand how the level is that low. They have to be counting, like, the online family as, like, one subscription. Because otherwise, it's like, how the fuck are the numbers that bad? Like, you see 38 million and you think, oh, that's pretty good. And it's like, it's definitely making them money. But then you also remember that there's like 140 million people who have Switches, and then you're like, wait, that number's really bad. There's more people who are subscribed to Xbox Game Pass than people who own the latest Xbox. Although, to, the, 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 to be completely fair... The PlayStation Plus numbers aren't fantastic either. They're definitely better than NSOs. But I think, like, PlayStation Plus members, which would count, like, people who own a PS4 and PS5, is, like, 51 million. Which is, like... That's less than half of all the PS4 owners. That's kind of crazy.
Did I change the category, by the way? I didn't. Whoops. I would love if Nintendo's online was free again. I think it's too late. I don't think it's ever going to happen. Because, again, even though the numbers, like, seem pretty bad... Like, I, I think they're bad. I don't think those are great numbers. But, like, even though the numbers are bad, there's still, like, more than enough for Nintendo to be getting a shit ton of money. So I don't think they're going to care that much. Oh, we have to spin now. Like, honestly, in terms of, like, being a service for, like, playing retro games, I actually kind of like NSO. But then I remember NSO is, like, also, like, a way- the only way to play online, and I'm like, wow, that's, like, dumb. That's, like, really dumb. I don't know, like, as a subscription service for retro games, I like it because it's, like, I'm more likely to play more games on the service because I'm not paying for them all individually. Especially with how Nintendo used to price, like, virtual console shit. Like, listen, there, there are some people who do miss the virtual console, like, system. And, like, the benefit of virtual console was always that, like, I don't know, they drip-fed games as well, but, I mean, by the end of those systems' lives, like, a virtual console was way more diverse than NSO currently is. But at the same time, it was like, you were individually paying for every single game on Virtual Console. If you wanted to pay for the right to, like, Super Mario Brothers: The Lost Levels, you were coughing up $5. Also, if you wanted to buy it on 3DS, you were coughing up $5 again. And if you wanted to buy it on Wii U, guess what, motherfucker? <laughs> also, hello, L is real. Welcome. Okay, I can give this guy a shell back. left the Starfy forms due to them being dead and full of spam, wondering if they've gotten a resurrection of activity due to this. I mean, it's probably a little early to say. This just came out on NSO, but maybe. Did I win the level? I guess I did. Oh yeah, I have to imagine that fan translations for these games has existed for quite some time. I gotta find the angry fish.
interesting. <laughs> it's a really cool level. Dude, I'm playing fucking Luigi's Mansion 2 again. I'm just doing the stupid boss puzzle again. Fuck. With the fucking stairs? <laughs> Good god. Also, hello, that's me. What do I do here? Okay. Also, I apologize, Soul. I don't think I do. I don't know if I've ever needed eye drops in my life. Maybe that's not true. Maybe there has been a point in my life where eye drops would have helped me, but I just didn't use them. It's gone alright. It's gone alright. Gone alright now that I figured out all my fucking bank shenanigans. I talked about, like, during Nintendo Switch Sports, how, like, I got, like, the stupid office subscription charged to me twice, and I had to, like, call a bunch of people to, like, figure that out. That was not the only bank conversation I had to have today. I had to also call them because they blocked my fucking debit card. I, I was, like, trying to buy the, like, Scarlet and Violet DLC for Star so we could play the game together, and then it was, like, it kept rejecting my card, and I was like, what the fuck? And I had to, like, I had to- I, I figured out through the fucking bank app that my fucking card got blocked, and I was like, what the fuck? I had to call, like, customer service again, which took, like, another 20 minutes out of my day. It was annoying. Annoying day. Also, no, I am not in Ohio. Isn't banking great? Honestly, like, I liked the bank for the most part. They're, you, like... Honestly, the main problem is just Microsoft. I blame Microsoft more than I blame the bank. You knew a Morgan at school? You think it was me? Well, I don't... That's not true. Because I don't live in Ohio. You, get, you can say you think it was me, but it's not true. Oh, here's this fucking fish. Did I move? No. How old are you? I'm in my mid-twenties. You're 23? Okay. I didn't know if you were, like, a, a kid. I'm gonna be real. This is my friend, Mo. Everybody knows my friend, Mo. He's probably doing his bit where he's like, Hey, Starfy. We gotta kill these guys. Can't wait till you turn 31 so you can annoy everyone with I am 30 or 40 years old and I do not need this. You could do that as soon as you turn 30. Why would you need to wait till you turn 31? If you're 30, you're literally 30 or 40 years old. <laughs> you're, 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 you're gonna miss out on a whole year of being able to do that?
Hi, Mo. Are you just gonna hide there? Yeah, come on. Don't be a coward. Dude, you got the gold paper Mario? Let's go. Does that mean you got, like... What do you have to do to get gold paper Mario? Is that, like... Like, doing Pit of 100 Trials or something, or...? Can't be hiding in the walls forever, clam. Collect every recipe, tattle log, and badge. Oh, brother. That seems like way too hard for me. I would not be able to do that shit. I kind of dig this game's, like, environmental design. I mean, Legendary Starfy on DS had, like, good like, environment design as well. But it's, like, a different vibe because that game has, like, 3D backgrounds, and this is obviously just, like, pixel art. Honestly, the hardest part of doing that 100% is the fact that you have to use Goombella for a little bit on, like, every fight in the game. And it's like, I can't bring myself to do that. She doesn't bring out the raw damage that I need. People will call me a Goombella hater. And, like, I don't know. The people who call me a Goombella hater are, like, turning me into a Goombella hater. Because everybody's like, no, but you're missing the witty dialogue. You're missing her funny moments. You hate her. You hate her so much. And it's just like, I just don't want to fight with her. Because she doesn't do as much damage as I want her to. I can just have Madame Flurry Oko most enemies in the game. And people get disgusted. They get disgusted. They're like, you're fucked, Morgan. You have a villain's heart. And it's like, I'm gonna have a villain's heart if you people don't stop. I mean, that's perfectly reasonable. Nothing wrong with loving women. I mean, I got plenty of other women I can play with. I got... Flurry, I got Vivian. Those are like the only two women I need. I don't know, we unlocked Miss Mouse. I don't think I've used Miss Mouse in battle once. But you don't see the Miss Mouse fans getting on my ass. The Miss Mouse fans aren't getting at me. So why is why is Goombella's like army coming after me? Miss Mouse fans. Attack! Oh, brother, what is this? Playing it a little risky. That's okay. Starfy's kind of a baby game. Is there any side to the gust of wind other than it takes a lot of FP? I mean, it's like useless against bosses, but other than that, not really. 
I mean, like, really, its only, like, actual downside is that it has a chance to miss, even if you get it perfect, which is, like, it's kind of a negligible chance to begin with, so it doesn't even really matter. I don't know, like, I genuinely think Flurry is, like, the most OP partner in that game. And when you need, like, like, I don't know, my partner of choice for bosses is usually Baby Yoshi. Thought it would diminish XP and coin rewards as you didn't actually fight them. Not that I've noticed. I get, I got, at the very least, the EXP is definitely the same. I get the same amount of EXP from actually fighting enemies that I do doing Gust of Wind. I don't know, that chance of working is extremely high. It is very unlikely that the move will not work. At least from my experience. Mo, oh, I want to go this way. Fine, I won't. Bitch. Coward. Guess you'll take it as you forgetting the experience of the original. It happens. It happens. I don't know, they could have changed it in the remake as well. I can't say for sure. I remember in Paper Mario 64, there was like a similar ability that felt like way worse than Flurry's ability does. Shit's just happening right now, man. That whale is not a happy camper. And I just hit it in its boil? What's wrong with me? They hit you with the getting eaten by a creature very early in this game. I remember it's not until late in fucking Legendary Starfy where they hit you with these disgusting, like, flesh sprites. This is the area I'm in right now. I'm inside of the whale.
And what the fuck are these inside the whale? Wonder how many getting eaten by creature levels can be traced back to Pinocchio getting eaten by a terrible fish? Like, literally all of them. Because, like, video games only started existing in the 80s and Pinocchio came out quite some time ago. Oh, I died. Guys, it's okay. Let me guess, Mo. I have to learn some special technique to save this guy. Okay. The door with the mysterious NPCs. Thank you, Nintendo, for not translating this game, so I don't know what the fuck's going on half the time. Starfy, the door. Where are the little germs? We're the virus inside of the whale. Can you please spare us? Here we go. Dude, it's the octopus chef. Don't think you know the tale of Jonah? Whoa! Holy shit. Oh, we have this now. I wonder how long this game is. I'm gonna look up how long to be. There's not even any results for it. Ah, uh, you know what? I misspelled Starfy. There's only one for Starfy 3, and it's 18 and a half hours with main plus sides. I don't believe that. How the fuck has nobody played Starfy 1? On this website.
Main story is three and a half hours long. We could beat this entire game tonight. You guys get in the, the Starfy gauntlet, and you don't even know it. I didn't know it either. But now I know. Much faster than Luigi? Mm-hmm. This doesn't help this guy. It does break these. It doesn't break those. The fuck is this guy? Huh? What? Huh? What? Okay. Soda! Dude, I did see on Twitter that apparently Joe Biden had a really embarrassing press conference today. Man, don't you just love being an American sometimes? Where, you're, where your only option is two guys who are, like, near dying. And, like, also both of those men would really rather you be dead. want to move to Canada someday. I couldn't deal with Justin Trudeau. to other people, but they have no campaigns. Yeah. I mean, I'll be real. The only reason why I'm not more doomer about the election is that I literally think both of them are too fucking incompetent to do anything anymore. Except the stuff that's already being done, which is not good. I am not using this as, like, a way to say what is going on in the world is good. I just think, like, literally both of them are powerless to do anything else. Because they're both, like, fucking old shitheads who are dying. Fingers crossed that they will die soon. I have to be honest, I'll be surprised if Joe Biden makes it to next year. That would be a- that would actually, like, shock me. He is, like, in such bad shape. Gotta stop thinking about this, otherwise the the rest of this stream the vibes are gonna be terrible. I had a burger today. I had a burger for dinner. What'd you guys have for dinner?
We are. We are playing Funny Starfy. Butter Chicken? Ooh, that does sound pretty good. I didn't talk about it, but I have been, like, decently hard at work with morgue game stuff. About 80 cards are now real, and you can, like, view like, you can't view them, obviously, because the expansion doesn't exist yet, but, like, I don't know. It's getting there. I'm taking a little bit of a break from it, just because, holy shit, I, like, made, like, 80 cards in, like, two days, but... I want I want to show you guys one of my favorite cards that I've made so far. I think this is really good. <laughs> I'm a bi I'm a big fan <laughs> of the truck. It also lets me kind of show you guys the the layout that I'm going for with the morgue game cards obviously there's like an actual background this is not representative of how every morgue game card will look a lot of them are like transparent pngs over a background in fact i'll open another one i'll open this one so you can get a better idea of how cards are supposed to look um it's pretty similar to a standard god game card obviously it like looks different because i had to like make my own you can't just like you, you can't just steal the god game card format it's not allowed um so i like slightly edited it or like rather i had eve slightly edit it shout out to eve for making the card layout by the way it came out looking really good and for the most part it's been pretty easy to work with um but I, add, I, I told Eve to add a little box for the quote, instead of having the quote be a part of the bigger box. Um, instead of having logos for everybody, I just put who contributed to the card in the corner, in a corner box, because, I don't know. So the idea of also having to come up with symbols for everybody was, like, too much for me. Even though it looks worse, uh, I don't care. And then I have whatever stream slash game slash series a card comes from. So Justin Dance, since he's original to the stream, he's just credited to E3 2019, because that's when we made him. That's when we made him. Each type of card is obviously going to have a different color. Um, the basic cards have like a purplish, although you can't tell because of Balan. But I really like <laughs> the Balan card. So far, the cards that are like full backgrounds are the like funniest cards by far. And that's, like, completely unintentional. Especially because in God Game, the champion cards all have unique backgrounds. So that's probably gonna be what happens. That's probably what I'm gonna end up doing. Just because I think that'd be fun. Um, but... I did it for Balin, and I did it for the truck from Cluster Truck. Because I was like, these are the funniest cards to do this with. I could have very easily put in a transparent image of Balin, and that probably would have been easier than figuring out how to crop this image in, like, this image editing software that I'm using for these cards. But I didn't care. That wasn't important. What was important was you being able to view all of Balin. I played this game recently, and it was clean. It was clean. But yeah, that's your that's your morgue game update. I hope you enjoyed being updated on morgue game. It's it's getting closer to being real. I definitely like I still want to shoot for having the expansion come out before the end of the year, but I do not make any promises except that I want you all to pretend like I promised it winter of this year because it'd be really funny to do like the fucking joke of like the Persona 5 image where it says coming winter 2014. Like that's a really good bit and I wouldn't have any tr problems with people doing that even if it's not earnest. I don't care. Lying is funny sometimes. I 
don't know where the fuck I'm going. No, I don't think I actually want to finish this game. I was like, oh, but it's kind of short, so we could probably do it. I can't tell where the fuck I'm going because I don't understand what any character in this game is saying. Thank you, Nintendo, for putting this up on NSO without a translation, by the way. I don't know, I like Starfy, though, so I don't know. Maybe I'll look into the fan translations at some point and play those. Cause I like the legendary Starfy. I think that game's good as fuck. So I'd love to be able to play the older games. I don't know. I hate this feeling of being like stun locked because I can't figure out what the fuck to do because I can't understand what anybody is saying. I think I'm over it. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the the pause screen though. I must admit I'm a big fan of the pause screen. Nintendo, why the fuck did you not put this up with a translation? Listen, I know I was dunking on the NSO numbers not being as high as you think, but I don't know, that's still like 38 million people who are paying 20 bucks a year, at least. Not counting people who have like the expansion pass. 18 million, 38 million times 20. That's $760 million. You're telling me you can't spend, like, a million of those $700 million to, like, make a translation? You're crazy. You're crazy. Well. Well. Fuck them consumers. Fuck, but I love consuming! Fuck! Fuck! I love to be a consumer! And you just imagine me as like a Wojak. Fuck, I love consuming! That's how people think, like, people who enjoy media are actually like... You, you can, like, like something that's, like, mainstream, and, like, there'll be, like, really bitter people online who'll, like, post a Wojak on you that's, like, this is you, and it's, like, the 20-year-old consumer, and it's, like, doesn't do anything except consumes media. Fuck, I wanna consume! Or whatever. Well, anyways, anyways. How'd I get the Kumatora icon? Oh, this was my NSO account that was already, or not an NSO account. I, I think I had to put it on one of my NSO family plans, just the one that has like a few extra slots because it's just on a basic plan and I didn't give that much of a fuck. It was literally for me and like my sister and my dad. Um, this one I put onto that and then had it, wait, how did I get this? I think, I don't know. I would have had to put it on the expansion pass plan, but I don't know how I did that. Because I don't think my expansion pass plan had, like, an extra slot. Maybe it did. 
and I did that because you have to have a Japanese account because the Mother 3 icons were only Japanese. I don't know. If you have a Japanese account on NSO, you could have done it. But you didn't, so I'm sorry. Uh, also, the world will blow up in five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. How the fuck Zack and Cody get on my screen, bruh? The gayness fairy visited me in my sleep and gifted me with an icon of a beautiful transgender woman for all my good deeds. Wait, that's true. Someone on my timeline just posted HD2D looks like dog shit. Get over yourself. Get over yourself. You're wrong. Denied. Oh, but the old games look like this. I don't care. It looks good. I'm angry now. I don't give a fuck. You post your angry ass hot take on Twitter, I'm gonna respond to it not in kind. I put. I, uh, no, I dropped the game. I'm just gonna play Mario Kart. I'm just gonna play Mario Kart. 